So what if you could really understand what it takes to develop a relationship? What if you were in business, and most of you might be, that really wants to get further ahead? And what if you had been stuck as to what it is that's holding you back for really engaging with clients in a place called LinkedIn? resides 430 million people of the smartest, best, brightest people in the business world. All of them accessible to each one of you, just like Henry Ford was with his phone to access anybody. All of us is accessible. All of them are accessible to each one of us by simply reaching out to that person. So those are the three things, the connection, conversation, and the conversion to a relationship. Sometimes you call them clients, but it's a conversion to a relationship. But here's a nugget. In between the conversation and in between the conversion, there's a gap, which I call compelling relationships. There's a gap there because you see. didn't have the smarts to run an organization or a company. And they put him on trial. They went to court. How could this be? And yet, it happens in America. And it happened to Henry Ford. And as the story goes, and I'll sum it up so that you get the gist of it, he's up there in court, and they're saying, Mr. Ford, how can you possibly know enough to run your business? Questions like that. I wasn't there, but questions like Questioning his intelligence, his aptitude as somebody that should run a, a company. And Henry Ford says, Henry Ford says, Jasmine, I don't need to know everything. I'm paraphrasing a lot here, folks. I don't need to know everything, but put me in front of my phone and I will get the right people that will give you the answer to anything that you want. And of course, they dismissed this lawsuit or this trial thing that they needed to. That particular message of Henry Ford, Julia, stuck with me. And I thought, how tremendous of a simple idea that really made him obviously very successful, very famous, and we are all touched by cars whole generations by that simple idea that he can sit on his desk and summon the brightest and most effective people at any point. I thought that idea stuck with me. Now when did I hear this idea? It was in my youth and it evolved and continued to evolve in it. and I think in some fashion channeled my life to where I am today. And we're all in today. Let me share with you where we're at today. Right now, in a place called LinkedIn, resides 430 million people of the smartest, best, brightest 
people in the business world. All of them accessible to each one of you, just like Henry Ford was with his phone to access anybody. All of us is accessible. All of them are accessible to each one of us by simply reaching out to that person. Am I the only one that thinks this is tremendous? This is phenomenal. We're on a breakthrough from a business standpoint. And of course, you can see what Facebook has done. And Facebook is, it has a billion and a half people, and they're also expanding quite a bit. But let's focus on LinkedIn, which is a third the size, but they're all business people. And the thought that we can move systems, generations, products, knowledge through that channel is significant. I should have thought of LinkedIn. Not being able to think of another LinkedIn, what I've come up with is a three-step process for you to touch in and being able to reach out to that wealth of information, knowledge, and relationships. Because that's what we're talking about, relationships. So here's the first step. The first step is very simple, just as you would with anybody else in a room like this. You simply reach out to them, and we call it a connection. You connect to them. Hi, my name's Rocky Romero. What is your name, Solomon? I see you on your LinkedIn. I see your profile. I see that you're a project manager. You've done these things. I see you very clearly. Number one, connection. Simply because there's an exchange. Solomon could see me on LinkedIn, just like you could see me here, and I could see you in real life right here. The connection is absolutely fundamental to starting it. Once the connection happens, is the second step. It's the conversation. The conversation. Just like you would in a room like this, you connect with somebody, you start having a dialogue, a conversation, an exchange of ideas and thoughts, and perhaps some possibilities. The conversation. And the conversation can't be trite because we're busy people. We know who they are. I know your background. It's almost as if I know who you are by looking at your profile. Your resume is on LinkedIn. And likewise, my resume is on there too. So we can shorten the, dis the discussion and be more direct to what we want to do. Here's who I am. Here's what I want to do. And I'm curious about you. What's your direction, your focus, your challenge in your business? And how can we have a, and here's the third thing, a conversion, a conversion to a relationship. So those are the three things, the connection, conversation, and the conversion to a relationship. Sometimes you call them clients, but it's a conversion to a relationship. But here's a nugget. In between the conversation and in between the conversion, there's a gap, which I call compelling relationships. There's a gap there because, you see, there are 430 million people out there with something that they want to offer and something that they want to receive, something they want to buy, something that they want to sell. But within that gap, from the conversation to bringing in an engagement is a compelling relationship. And that's the difference between having a financial relationship or not, and how long that sales cycle takes or not. So if you can have a compelling relationship sandwiched in there, that it compels them to have a relationship and therefore have the financial give and take, which enriches not only that pair, but also that group, but also the entire world from compelling relationships. Fellow Toastmasters, I challenge you to go out there in one-to-one, -one, but also one-to-many, and be out there. Be a Henry Ford. 
or whatever the female comparison is to Henry Ford. Be out there and reach out with compelling.